Hi guys, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to ask you to subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of my recent uploads. Hi guys, Osa here and welcome back to my channel. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Hi guys, Osa here and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to teach you how to straighten your 4C hair. So my hair is already washed, conditioned, deep conditioned, and blow dried, okay? So now we're up to the flat ironing process. So let me just tell you what products I already have in my hair. Uh, it's the Jane Carter Solutions. Uh, they're heat protectant and then I also use uh, the Chi uh, heat protectant. So the temperature that I have set for my flat iron is at 410 degrees. Normally I would flatten my hair um, at around 370 but because I've been using rice water for so long my hair is really uh, strong and it no longer uh, will stay um, straight at the lower temperature so I need to just increase the temperature of course I'm not gonna do too many passes um, I'm just gonna you know pass it through a couple times and then just make sure that it's straight you know how I like it and then go from there because I really don't want to have any heat damage so I always like to say in my videos anytime you're straightening your hair you run the risk of having heat damage and you know um, there's really no way to correct that other than cutting those ends off uh, so I'm gonna just try to be as careful as possible. All right, so let's jump right into this video So start by just taking a small section and passing your flat iron through slowly Take another section comb through it And you're just going to follow this process all over your head. So I'm going to do the rest of my head off camera and I'll be right back. All right, so my whole head is complete. Now I'm just spraying some oil in it. I don't put any oil in my hair prior to uh, flat ironing it because I don't want to increase my chances of having any heat damage. Okay, so now I'm going to trim my hair because when your hair is straight, you get a chance to really see like where all your thin areas are and I'm just going to get rid of all of that. I'm not interested in length. I'm interested in health. Um, and in order to achieve that, you have to get rid of any sparse or any thin areas that you might have. So like I mentioned before, I actually have thin hair, so I have to constantly keep on top of trimming my hair uh, just so that I can give the illusion of having fuller hair. So um, you'll see like right here, you see all these thin ends, I have to just get rid of that. So you just keep, you know, uh, going through your hair in sections and by doing that, you'll easily be able to locate which areas need to be trimmed. Don't be afraid, just let those ends go. So there really are so many pros to trimming our natural hair and I just want to encourage all of you naturals that might be watching this video to just get rid of any dead ends that you might have. You're not doing yourself any justice by keeping those, those dead ends on, okay? So if you have split ends, they're just going to travel up your hair strand and then you're going to have to take off even more at a later time. So just keep on top of it and just make sure, you know, any areas that might be see-through or really thin just get rid of it it just looks so much better so let me take this time to answer uh that question that i often get on my flat ironing hair videos and that is how often do i flat iron my hair and i don't flat iron my, flat iron my hair often i probably do this once every three months and after i flat iron my hair i just assess my hair and i you know basically get rid of all of those dead ends I want my hair to appear fuller and this is a great trick to give the illusion of fuller hair um, especially for those of us that have thin hair to begin with all right guys and we are coming to the end of today's video I hope that you enjoyed yourself today if you did feel free to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel I am gonna continue to just keep being consistent on my YouTube channel I hope that you guys are enjoying the videos that I'm putting out and I will talk to all of you guys soon if you have any questions for me, certainly leave it in the comment section and I will definitely get back to you. Bye now. Alright guys, so if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I will catch you guys in the next one. When it comes to your hair type, you should always foresee beauty.